Hi everyone. Welcome back to Isabella Animations. The channel where you get spiritual and edifying videos to feed your soul. I want to seize this opportunity to appreciate everyone who has consistently supported this channel. Thanks for watching at all times. Thanks for your prayers. May God bless you greatly. Life is full of unfriendly friends. Some people didn't die when the arrow was in their chest, they died when they saw who threw the arrow. Unfriendly friends smile a lot and act nice to you, but really, they are talking and gossiping behind your back. They will cause your pain, hurt you, and deceive you. That is why, in this video you are about to watch, you will be exposed to why you need to prayerfully war against unfriendly friends. Relax, sit, and enjoy the video. Make sure you watch to the end and also ensure to key into every prayer that is raised in this video. I'm sure you will be blessed. And please, don't forget to like, share and leave a comment in the comment section. Also do well to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell to get notified each time a new video is uploaded. Please, subscribe. Congratulations on your new job, Catherine. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate your effort in helping me get this job in your company. Come on, Catherine, it's nothing. What are friends for? You are also a good person. I am flattered. All the same, I am so grateful my friend. Thanks a lot. I am super excited. I'm happy for you. Good morning sir. Good morning, Catherine, and welcome on board. Thank you, sir. Please, take your work seriously and we won't have any problem. I can assure you that I am the best at what I do. Very good. You may go back to your office. Thank you, sir. Catherine, how did it go? Mr. William is such a nice man. He just tried to encourage me. Wow. That is so good. Thank you so much. Francisca. You're welcome, bestie. You sent for me, sir. Oh, yes. Remember, you are only acting in the capacity of the operations manager since Mr. Jeff left our company about a year and a half ago. Now that we have employed the new operations manager, I want you to vacate the office space you're currently occupying. It belongs to the operations manager. You need to move back to your appropriate office. But, sir... I was confirmed the operations manager two weeks after Mr. Jeff left, and I was given a promotion letter to that effect. Moreover, Catherine was employed to work directly under me. I want her in that office, Francisca. But sir, I'm meant to be her boss. She can't take my position. The maintenance team can work on her office to suit any of her desired tastes. You will do as I say, Francisca. Who is the boss here? you, sir. Good. I am the boss here, so, do as I say. Sir, the office downstairs is too small for me. We can see to that later. What is going on here? I helped Catherine with this job. I told her to apply. I gave her all the necessary information. Why will I be removed as the operations manager? Why will I vacate this office for her? Leaving here to where Mr. Nicholas said I should go is like I am being demoted. What is happening? What is going on? You called me, sir. Yes. You will move to Miss Francisca's office. She will vacate the office for you. Miss Francisca's office will be mine. Yes. If I may ask, why? That's the operations manager's office, and I am not the operations manager. Do you want to be the operations manager? Do you want to make me the operations manager? I ask you a question. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I hope Miss Francisca will not feel bad. Well, it is none of my business. Did you know her before you came here and why are you bothered? I didn't know her before now, sir. Fine. You can move to the operations manager's office when she is done packing. Wow. Wow. Thank you, sir. I am grateful. 
I noticed you have been quiet since we left the office. Is anything the matter? I am fine. I'm just not in the mood to talk. All right. If you say so. Anyway, I enjoyed my first day at work. Mr. Nicholas is such a nice man. And I love my new office. The first one was kind of small, but I love where Mr. Nicholas asked me to move to now. Did you say you loved your new space? Yes, I do. That was my office. You always see me in that office any time you come to visit. Why are you acting like you didn't know that was my office? Really? I didn't pay so much attention. But you saw me when I was moving my stuff. I did not. How was I supposed to know? Come on, Catherine. Come off it. So, you truly want to take my position as the operations manager? It was an order from above? You cannot keep blaming me for this. Really? What was I supposed to do when Mr. Nicholas asked me to move to your office? Should I tell him I can't move? There was nothing I could do, Francisca. Moving out of that office to where I am now is a demotion. But it's not my fault, there was nothing I could do. It's all right. No problem. Enjoy your new job and office space. That is it. Be happy for me, Francisca. Congratulations. There is love in sharing. Why is she angry? Anyway, it is not my business if she's angry or not. All I know is that I am bigger than her now. Now is my time to shine. Good morning, sir. How are you, Francisca? I am all right, sir. You sent for me. Yes. There is one more thing I didn't tell you yesterday. Now that Catherine is taking over as the operations manager, you will be assisting her. I beg your pardon, sir. I don't understand. I should assist Francisca, who is just new to the system. Yes, please. This is not her field, sir. I know. That was why I said you should assist her. Help her, and put her through the system. That is how a team works. What is going on, sir? I have been doing a good job which you know. You have never complained about my work here for the past five years. And since I took over as the operations manager over a year ago, there has never been any issue. Please, sir. I want to know what I have done wrong to deserve this kind of humiliation. No one is humiliating you, Francisca. You can get back to work. Thank you, sir. I am leaving now, Catherine. You can go home. I will join you later. I still have a lot on my table. As the new operation manager, it's a lot of work. I see. I will see you at home. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Francisca is so funny. Why is she acting weird all of a sudden? It's not my business anyway. Here comes your new operation manager and there is nothing you can do about it. Please, subscribe. How are you doing, Catherine? I am doing very well. Guess what? Mom? What? I am the new operations manager at my new office. Are you serious? Everything you gave me worked. I am in my happy place now. I told you. The priestess said if you use those stuff rightly you will see results. I am seeing results. How is your friend doing now that she's going down? She has been acting funny. It is not our business, my dear. She has been enjoying. She should allow you to enjoy. I am super happy. My heart is full of joy. If you see my new office, it's so beautiful. Francisca has been enjoying good things all this while. Don't fight with her. Be nice to her. She should not suspect anything. I understand you, Mom. If she doesn't stop acting funny, she will lose everything. I mean her job. She had better accept her defeat. She's so gentle now. If you want your boss to like you, let me know. He will go from helping to falling in love with you. Thank you, Mommy, for all you do for me. Something is not adding up. Something is going on that I don't know. I must get to the bottom of this. 
I have to rise in the place of prayer. I cannot be going down. I cannot be demoted in my job. I should be the head and not the tail. Those are God's promises for me. Lord Jesus, help me. I cannot lose my job. I cannot be demoted. No one can take my place. No one can take that which belongs to me. Lord Jesus, I thank you that any time I pray you will answer. Psalm 10 verse 15 says Break thou the arm of the wicked man, seek out his wickedness till thou found none. I break the arm of the wicked over my job in Jesus' name. Let every strange hand over my job be destroyed in Jesus' name. Ezekiel chapter 21 verse 27 says I will overturn, overturn, and overturn it and it shall be no more, until he shall come whose right it is, and I will give it him. I overturn every work and plan of the enemy over my job in the name of Jesus. I destroy their works until it is no more in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 10 says Take counsel together and it shall come to naught, speak the word and it shall not stand, for God is with me. Every evil counsel over my job will not stand in Jesus' name. I set confusion in the camp of the enemy in Jesus' name. Job chapter 22 verse 28 says Thou shall also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. I decree tonight and I take back what belongs to me in Jesus' name. I take back my seed in Jesus' name. I take back my position in Jesus' name. I take back all that has been taken from me in Jesus' name. Nehemiah chapter 5 verse 11 says Restore, I pray you to them even this day their lands, their vineyards, their olive yards, and their houses, also the hundredth part of the money, and the corn, the wine, and the oil, that ye exact of them. I command restoration in Jesus' name. I take back by fire, everything that was stolen from me in the name of Jesus. Thank you Jesus for answered prayers, in Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. Good morning sir. How are you? Francisca? I am very well, sir. I have a good news for you. You have been promoted to the post of the regional manager. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sir. You're going to the office bigger than the operations manager's office. Hannah will go back to where she's supposed to be initially. Sir. I cannot go back to that small office. I would rather resign, I am already used to the big office. I hate you mommy. All you did didn't work, it's all fake. I am out of here. My daughter hates me. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. May God keep you, protect you and preserve you from every unfriendly friends that have vowed to bring you down, in the name of Jesus Christ. The book of Job 5.12 says he frustrates the devices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot carry out their plans. All the plans of the evil friends concerning your life are frustrated, in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Please, don't forget to like, share and leave a comment in the comment section. Also do well to subscribe to this channel if you haven't, and click on the notification bell to get notified each time a new video is uploaded. Please, subscribe.